All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just back at you again with a quick lesson. And uh, this is the, the book of Mark, chapter 8 and verse 38. Now, I was meditating here upon this scripture because I remember there was a time, you know, a few years ago, a few seasons ago, that it was real popular to be an Israelite. You had a lot of um, a lot of men, a lot of rappers, you know, this thing is going across the face of the earth now. And a lot of um, this word have gone across the face of the earth. All right. And the scriptures say, then shall the income. All right. But anyway, you know, you had... Um, a lot of uh, men acknowledging, a lot of women acknowledging who they are, you know, going back. And that's beautiful. It was beautiful, man, to know who you are, knowing the name of the true and living power. All right. Knowing your inheritance, knowing your true history, which was you was robbed from. All right. From these Edomites and raped and murdered. OK. Stolen as a people. All right. But now we're approaching the time where, you know, the uh, hours of temptation. Okay, where you're going to be tempted to go against the most high. And um, I say that, I say this because, you know, you see there's a lot of Israelites out there that know that they're Israelites. But who really is uh, in the truth? Who's of the one, you know, that, that uh, one third? Okay. And uh, that one third is those who, uh, who actually is going to be uh, following the precepts and the commandments of the Lord. Matter of fact, let me get a quick precept just to back that up. Um, I think it's in Second Edges. I think it's 16. Let's see. Second Edges, 16. Right. This is Second Edges, 16 and 76. It says, "The guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, say, if the Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins." And covered with their iniquities like as a field is covered over the bushes over over the bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may may uh so like yeah that may run through it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith all right now the point here is in 76 but i think i should read into it to get a little proper more understanding of that verse so I'm going to start at 72, uh, 71, no, 72. It says, for they shall take, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. They shall, then shall they be known who are my chosen. Because it's all about the chosen, man. All right. It's about the chosen. You know, a lot of people think they're in the truth because they know of the truth. But to be in the truth. You got to be following the ways. Of, you got to be following in the manner and mannering yourself in the ways of the truth. You know, that's rehearsing the righteous acts, calling upon the true name of the Lord. All right. Because there's many titles of the Lord out there. There's even Israelites that teach a different name than the true name itself. OK. You know. It says, um, then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. And that's the, the time we're approaching. They're going to force this chip, man. They're going to force this chip. If you ain't up to date on the current news and watching and seeing what's going on, their plans and the elites are not letting up. All right. They got they got this uh, place the way they want it. OK, they got they got this uh, America, you know, sort of say by the balls, man. And through the scare of this Corona COVID-19, they're using this to put in place their uh, new world order uh, agenda, all right? And they will force the chip, and the chip is the mark of the beast. So it says, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same, right? It says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, 
Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. All right. So that's the point, man. So going back, let's get back into the originally uh, book chapter verse I wanted to, you know, base this lesson on, which is Mark 8 and 38, you know, because it was it was a time where everybody was, you know, you know, proud women up there wrapping their hair up and not fully walking in the ways and following the words, the knowledge, having the true knowledge of the scriptures. Oh, I'm thinking of Paul right now. Before I get that, I just want to grab another precept. Um, so I can lose it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Romans 10 and 1. All right, let's just read this real quick. This is Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. So Paul, you know, he had heavy on his con on his conscience. He wanted Israel to be delivered. All right. And and Israel is on the whole going to be going to be good. All right. But except, you know, on this side, only the only the ones of the first resurrection, which is joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, is going to be safe and delivered from this time. The rest of you, two thirds, you're going to die and have to come back out. All right, being newborn babes again. Okay, uh, as the scriptures say in Sirach, uh, Sirach 9, the ninth chapter, it says, uh, they shall know it after death by pain. So in order for you to truly understand this truth, like, you know, our people out here in the hoods, our people out here in the urban communities, you, you Jakes, you Israelites that caught up in the world, the philosophies of man, you know, you bud smokers, you uh, you, you, you uh, drug dealers, you, you pimps, you hoes, you know, they're going to have to come back, all right, for them despising this truth and not taking heed and their liberty, all right, they're going to have to die on this side, and then they're going to end up knowing the truth, all right, when they go into that spirit world and then be put back out, man, okay, because we're going to rule the earth, all right, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the Israelites, we're going to rule this world, remember, um, 2nd Ezra 6, matter of fact, I'm going to come right back. You know, come right back, Lord willing. Uh, second Edges six. I just want to read it real quick. Six and six. You know these scriptures we always go in and out of. So brothers, know these scriptures, man. All right. Uh, second Edges six and six. Then shall I consider these things, and they were all made made through me alone, and through none other. By me also, they shall be ended, and by none other. Now that's the heavenly Father. Okay, He's letting you know that everything has a beginning and everything has an end. And when it ends, that means he's done it, okay? So it says, by me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Verse 7, then answered I and said, what shall be the part in the sunder of the times? All right, now this Edra speaking, it says, or when shall the end be of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? So Edra's is trying to understand, get understanding from the Lord. When is you going to end the, the first world, you know, and then when you're going to bring in the kingdom of heaven? When is our kingdom is going to be established that which you promised us right it says verse 8 and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when jacob and esau were born of him jacob's hand held first the hill of esau and that's why you guys that don't really truly understand the scriptures or you truly don't understand what's going on right now you should be taking heed and listening and learning because what's happening all right the so-called white man which is esau all right, without a shadow of a doubt, he's Esau, Edom, and we're Jacob, the 12, the 12 sons, all right, the 12 uh, families of Jacob, man, okay? And it says, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. So the Lord has let Nedras know that, look, you know, these two characters are playing a major role, are, are basically going to be the main characters for the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth. So let's read that again. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. And you read that in Genesis, uh, was that 25th chapter? And it's starting at the 19th verse. And you read the characteristics of the storyline. And you read that Jacob's hand, when they were born, Jacob's hand, he held the hill of Esau. Because symbolically, it means that Jacob is going to take Esau out of power. All right. Uh, what's that in? I think that's in Daniels. But anyway, it says verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? And we're at the end of the world. So I want to get back to Romans 10. And let's stay on track. 
try not to I wanted to make it quick uh, Romans 10 and 1 it says brethren my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved for I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh but not according to knowledge and there's a lot of Israelites out here of the circumcision those who know that they're Israelites but they still don't have the proper knowledge of what's going on because you got false prophets out here you got false leaders you got men who set themselves up okay and they set themselves up to be this mighty man and this mighty prophet of the Lord and here they're guiding the people down you know the, the wrong path they leading them down to destruction but ultimately you know we understand that the Lord you know set them up on the left side because there's a lot of Israelites that's just not chosen of the Most High all right, that, that chosen is a small remnant, man, okay? A small remnant. He said a small sanctuary, all right? So it says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge, you see? So they got this zeal, you know, and this spirit to love the Lord, but they don't have the proper knowledge. It says, verse three, it says, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So, when we read Mark 8, 38, you know, you're going to, a lot of Israelites are going to be ashamed of the Lord. And it's all because of this. It says, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. A lot of you Israelite camps out there, you made the Lord's word, a, 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 a mer you made it as a merchandise. You made it as a, a a, a, a way to make money you know a lot of these guys join into being an Israelite because they may have a skill and a talent already from the world going to school you know they could probably make a, a, a hip-hop beat you know they could probably got ways to design and clothes equipment computers and things like that and then they you know here it is brothers that know of the truth you know they probably you know hit them off with some and and next thing you know they end up believing that they're an Israelite, but never follow the ways of the Lord. So you're still doing the things that the that the world does and not submitting yourself unto the righteousness of Yahweh. So when this pressure come, okay, when the, when the hours of temptation approach, you're going to be ashamed of the Lord, man. You know, so it says for they being ignorant and ignorant means just not to know. All right of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. And that's why there's certain men who set up. That look, man, there's blood on y'all hands. You're teaching that the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. And I'm using that as an example. There's other uh, uh, kinks in the doctrine that they, they say. But that's a major prophecy. That's a major warning. People are going to die. The pe People are going to choose Esau and live, you know, or hope to live and denounce their faith in the Lord, man. Esau, this Edomite, this government, mind control, all right, they're... They, they're all they, they have an all-out assault this is an all-out assault on the lord on the lord himself and his creatures all right they want to put chips in you man all right they want to number the people they want to be a god as it's written in um uh what is it isaiah the 14th chapter all right they want to sit in the seat of the most high they want to be as though if they is they are the most high right it says, and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. All right, so now, with that being said, let's finally read the scripture. I should have read it first, but it's all good. This is uh, Mark chapter 8, verse 38. It says, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels all right so bear with me all right let me finish this up get up out of here uh mark 8 38 it says whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels now i want to look the word up ashamed because it's going to be a lot of you, a lot of Israelites ashamed of the Lord. All right. You're going to be denouncing that you're not an Israelite because of the troubled times that's coming. 
you know, and a lot of you going to take that chip, you're going to take that mark. It says ashamed. It says mean embarrassed. So you're going to be embarrassed, you know, of the Lord's ways and of this Bible and of this truth. It says or guilty because of one's actions, characteristics, or associations, right? You should be ashamed of yourself, right? You know? All right, it says, um, bear with me. It says, uh, reluctant to do something through fear or embarrassment or, humili or humiliation, you know? You know, because, um, you know, just, just as well as they done, just, just as well as they, uh, put up, um, let me take a walk, just as well as they put up, um, uh, you know, what was it, last year, 2019, how they was putting up the posters of Yahweh Shai and saying that the black Hebrew Israelites this and all that, and it's gonna be a lot of persecution, man, from your own people. Not like not yet alone from these Edomites, but it's gonna be from your own people, man. And a lot of you that made merchant of this of this truth, you know, you out here to, to make the uh, name for yourself, you know, a lot of you gonna be ashamed. So it says embarrassed, you know. It says or guilty because of one's actions. You know, a lot of you are ashamed of the true men of the Lord. And I'm gonna say starting here at Great Millstone, you're ashamed of the apostles and elders, man, because at Great Millstone, we teach 100% truth. That's not bragging or boasting or being funny, just keeping it real, all right? A lot of you can't shy away from what the apostles call, they, they say, uh, the McNasty of the scriptures, you know? None of you talk about, you, you, claim, you claim that we're rapists and this and that when we bring out the customs and, and the, the ancient customs and how they did things in the ancient times when it came to dealing with a young woman. You know, we just bring that stuff out because it's in the scriptures. It was a it was a, a part of the Hebrews customs. Never said that we're doing it, man. OK, so you're really ashamed if you're ashamed of little stuff like that. And that's a light thing. If you're ashamed of stuff like that, then how much more when the hour was a temptation approach? OK. And a lot of you, a lot of you, you know, going to have to eat your words, man, because you uh, bear false witness, man. All right, against against the men of the Lord that was teaching these truths. So it says uh, reluctant to do something through fear or embarrassment or humiliation because Esau is going to he's going to humiliate us, man. And one thing we learned about being in this truth when you first come in, you know, um, you know, you're going to be humiliated, man. You know, when you standing out there and you wearing your garment, people going to laugh. They're going to scoff. They're going to take the light and they're scorning. You know, your family members going to say, we, man, we went through that shit, man. It ain't nothing, man. But how much when it's on a bigger, larger scale, when they flashing it across your news worldwide, you know, the whole reason why these Edomite are doing this. All right. And what they're going through with their new world order is because it's Bible based. It's all written in the scriptures, man. Everything that these Edomites do is all in the scriptures because they're playing the, the hand, the left hand side of the Lord, man. And it's all really for us, the Israelites. To bring us back to the heavenly father, man. So the wicked got to do what he got to do. And the righteous going to do what, he, what, what the Lord is allowing them to do, man. All right. So anyway, let's get back. It says, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me. All right. That means you're ashamed of the Lord. It says, ashamed of, of me and of my words. And it's adulterous and sinful generation. And it's amazing, man, how you can be ashamed of this truth and your inheritance, especially you so-called Christians, man. You know, it's apostles and elders putting up videos about that one cat i seen you know talking about you know don't listen to the hebrew israelites and all this and that and he called himself a christian y'all whole doctrine is foolish man being in christianity and that mind control government uh, uh doctrine that plantation slavery doctrine man and you're ashamed of the lord in this wicked and adulterous sinful place you got transsexuals and homosexuals you know uh up and down this place going as they freely uh live their life and you ashamed of the Lord and his words, the, the scriptures, his ain't the ancient customs where we wore garments, you know, when we were uh, what man, manly. It says, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. 
All right, so the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to be ashamed of you. All right, when he come in the glory of his father, because when Yahweh Shai come back, <laughs> it's over, man. It's over for you niggas and you hoes, man. It's over. It's over for Esau, man. All right. You want to wake up a, uh, uh, you want to wake up the giant? <laughs> well, here he come, man. You know? So I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, I didn't mean to make it too long. I wanted to make it more quicker, but it is what it is. I hope you were edified, most importantly, man. All right? And, um, you know, prepare uh, brothers who are in the uh, spirit and of a of the Lord. You know, continue to keep putting up those prayers, man. Uh, stay humble, lowly. Continue to keep praying for strength, faith, all right, courage, you know, and endurance to endure all the way to the end. So with that, I want to say uh, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.